Hey there, it's Sasha again. You're watching another Sasha training video. And in this video, I'm just going to go through with you about general bank feeds and how to navigate through bank feeds and what all the options mean. So when you've logged into your Sasu account, go to automate and click on bank feeds. Um, now if you look at the first bar, this is the actions bar. So these are navigations taking us to different parts of the bank feed um, feature. You can toggle between inbox, which is what we currently see. It's all the transactions that are uh, that have been pulled through from your bank that are new and have not been uh, matched to a, a invoice or a journal entry. And they're pretty much ready for you to action them. Now, in this list, you will be able to see all the information regarding your transaction and the associated task that you can apply. So as we have already tested the, um, the match action, we can then uh, look at transactions that do not have suggestions, such as this one. So in this case, I haven't actually done anything with this particular withdrawal. So what I can do is click on the plus sign to create an action. And as it's a withdrawal, I can create a service purchase. Now, if you look at another transaction, it's $140 purchase. Let's assume that we have created an invoice. And although it's not coming up as a suggestion, I can also try and search for it. Now, the difference between an unpaid purchase and a purchase payment is that with unpaid purchases, you have not yet marked on the invoice that a payment has been made. Whereas with purchase payments, you have already marked the invoice as paid and you just want to confirm that the money was received in the bank. Okay, so let's do a search for this purchase payment because I remember making a payment for it. And you can see that a result has come through. Now, the reason why a suggestion was not made was because the transaction date is the 25th of July. The invoice date or the payment date was processed at the 26th of July. Although the amounts are the same, and if you are happy with this, then click on Reconcile against Selected. Now, let's just say that that was a mistake and you need to change the invoice date because you want the payment to match the date that the payment arrived in your bank fee. So what should you do? The first thing you need to do is navigate to your inbox again and select the Matched option. And in the Matched option, you'll see a few other matches but you will also see the 140 amount here. So click on the cross and that will confirm that you will unreconcile this item. So click OK and we'll just change from matched back to inbox. And now the $140 will appear again. Now if we do a search again, you will see the payment is still there. So what we need to do is bring up this payment. Now there's a few ways we can do this. We can either go to purchases and bring up the payment or a faster way is clicking on the edit pencil icon, which we shall do. And that will confirm the payment details. And we can simply change this to the 25th to match our bank feed. Okay, so we'll save and close. And now you'll see $140 has a suggestion. So we'll just hit the tick again, and that has been corrected. Now, the next thing we're going to look at is a duplicate entry. So a duplicate entry is where uh, a bank feed has pulled through the same amount twice, like we see here, and it's been matched to the same invoice purchase number eight. So the first thing I will check is the actual purchase. So let's go to the purchases screen. So let's go back to the bank feed screen again. Okay, so we can still see the $40 are still there. And we have purchase invoice number eight for only one amount of $40. So we know that this figure is incorrect. At this stage, it doesn't really matter which one you delete because they're all for the same amount. We simply hit the tick and select the delete option. 
OK. And that has been confirmed. And now you can only see one transaction and one payment. So hit the tick to confirm the transaction. Now go back to the bank feed screen and go on across to the next options. This is where we list all your bank accounts that you have added into SASU. So you can add a new bank account via the add bank account option, or you can add a new one via add and bank account. So they lead to the same place. The next option is to connect. This will give an indication as to whether you have an existing connection, but as our feed is currently connected, it will say update credentials. Now this may be actioned when an error message appears or when you have changed your online banking password. Otherwise, no, no action needs to be taken at this stage. The next two are referencing our fast coding view, which is bank rules. Now this is for those of you who prefer to um, create journal entries. The fast coding rule makes this task a lot faster by automating most of the most of the repeat transactions by creating certain rules that will uh, automatically pick up these transactions. Now, if you are interested in, in learning more about the fast coding view because you use journal entries, then uh, look out for our fast coding uh, training video. Now, in the same screen, you can use multiple payments to create uh, one action. So let's assume that we want to associate a payment and an ATM withdrawal to the same transaction. So we can just select these two transactions and hit the create as. And what that will do is that will allow us to create a, one invoice using the two payments. Now one thing to note is the amounts that you choose, so you can be two or more, need to all be as a withdrawal or all be as a deposit. So you can't have one withdrawal and one deposit amount. So that won't work because you can only choose one type of uh, invoice. You can also um, delete multiple transactions at once as well, just by selecting the box and hitting the uh, delete option. 